Yo, what up, what up, good people? You know who it is. It's your main man, KG, back again with another one. And I'd like to greet you all by saying, Genki deska, kakdi la mambo vipi, kamustaka, kaifhalek habibi wa habibti, and como vai vose. Basically, how y'all doing? If I haven't greeted you in your language, please leave a comment in the comment section and teach me how to say how are you doing in your language, wherever you may be from. Okay, now let's get into the topic. Today I'm going to be talking about my experiences with auditions, how I feel about them, and why they suck. They suck ass. I'm just saying. They suck kneecaps, toes, and elbows. Boy, these motherfuckers is crazy. <laughs> oh, Lord Jesus. Whew. Okay, good people. Now, let's get down to the nitty gritty of the topic of today, starting with why do I hate auditions? And I do say hate with intent. I hate them from the bottom of my heart. Well, I guess at this point, we could start with the word audition itself. And at the root of the word audition is audit. And it roughly means an inspection of some sort. Now, when you go to some of these auditions, and I'll give like more detailed stories as to the auditions that I went through uh, when I was auditioning for the American Idol, which was like three or four different times. But coming with those auditions, you may be standing and waiting in line against maybe one to 2,000 other people. Now my question to you, a rhetorical question to you would be, don't you think that human f fatigue would set in at some point with the people that you are going to audition for? At some point they're gonna get tired and they're just gonna be like having this kind of a dismissive attitude about themselves, you know? Ain't nobody got time for that. Next, the likelihood of you auditioning in front of someone who is not themselves a singer or a musician is highly likely. They may not have an ear for the style of music that you are most likely influenced by. They may not have had their morning coffee that day. They may have had an argument with a significant other. There are a lot of factors that can go into whether they make one decision or another. You have to worry about which genre that would stick out the most, whether you should sing a style of music that you are more comfortable with versus stepping out on a limb and trying some other style of music that you may not be too familiar with. Forgot to mention, you are spending finance to actually get to a lot of these auditions, right? Yet, there's no guarantee <laughs> that you're actually going to get the spot that you are going to audition for. I myself personally have experienced auditions in which I've gone to audition for a particular show, whether it be a television show or a competition, and the person that I'm auditioning in front of is nothing more than a casting director, so they don't have any experience in music at all. I've literally gone to auditions in which I've camped out and there were thousands of other people waiting to be seen and audited. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And to me, it just feels like an overall waste of time. And that's why I'm so appreciative of this digital space. The reason why I say that is, the reason that I say that is because if somebody wants to assess whether or not I'm skilled at what I do, you can simply just come to a link, go to my YouTube channel and see me sing and hear me sing in pitch, in tune and on rhythm. But there was a time that this luxury didn't even exist. So you would have had to travel far distances sometimes just to be seen and heard by whoever is the orchestrator of the audition. And at this point, I'm not even mentioning some of the contracts and how they read. If you guys ever want to hear anything about how crazy these contracts read, go and check out the comedian Dave Chappelle. And he almost pretty, he pretty much details and gives you a, a good description of what those contracts look like when you sign with these like mega corporations and mega broadcasting uh, agencies and things like that. And I've actually witnessed and read them myself and decided, I was like, hell no, I'm not gonna step into this kind of a, a screwed up agreement. Okay, let's see what else, let's see what else. Mm. The people that you go to audition for actually act like they are doing you a huge favor. But answer me this question. 
Where would a lot of these talent agencies be if it were not for the talent themselves? That was a good question, right? <laughs> okay, this is another thing that is entirely annoying, is when you go to audition, you may have one of the agents say that they're gonna call you, that, oh, we'll give you a call, yet they never give you a call. Now, where I come from, if you say this means this, then that's what it means. Give me a call. If you say that means that, then that means that. You know what I'm saying? If you say you completely suck, we didn't like you, okay, that gives me some grounds and some basis and an idea as to where I stand. You understand what I'm saying? Of course you do. Shall I continue? Everybody, everybody, people, people, shall I continue? Now, depending on what your position is so far as employment, you may or may not have to call off of work sometimes in order to pursue this kind of an opportunity. You understand what I'm saying? And it is, you know, more or less an opportunity. If you want to call it that, you know what I'm saying? To me, it just feels like loss after loss. There's too many uh, variables, if you will. But this is why I'm so glad that there are platforms that exist to where I can simply market myself from here straight to the consumer, straight to my audience, because I feel like there are millions of people. I've got my millions out there, I'm sure. There are millions out there that are championing, championing a person such as myself, somebody that may see my reflection in them, somebody who has pursued, 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 somebody who has continued to work on their craft, continued to chase after, you know, chase after and that's probably the wrong terminology because i don't feel like i have to chase after a dream anymore i feel like i am the dream i feel like i just have to magnetize whoever's out there already waiting for me to be their spokesperson a champion to you know make myself known okay good people those are a few of my thoughts on the auditioning process now if you have experience opinions or perspective on this topic please leave a comment in the comment section. I would like to know what you think about this whole process. How do you feel? I would like to know what your experiences are or were with this whole auditioning process. All right, good people. And in order not to make this video too long, I pose that question to you and I pose my thoughts and opinions and perspective about auditioning to you. And in the meantime, in between time, until we see each other again, what I want you to do, you know what time it is. Throw your K's up, throw your K's up, throw your K's up, KG, out.